Ayman al-Zawahiri, the leader of al-Qaeda, killed by a precision weapons strike. But what did the US use? I've been examining a highly developed variant of the Hellfire missile. Hellfire started out as an air-to-ground missile and later progressed to being used by drones, including Predator. It usually explodes to destroy a target and has a warhead with many kilos of explosives. The RX-9, though, which could look like this graphical impression, instead uses a kinetic warhead with blades. It, it uses kinetic force and a series of, essentially, knife blades. It's reported that they pop out before they hit the, the intended target and essentially shred uh, the uh, target. What little evidence there is from the scene of the killing of the Al-Qaeda leader in the centre of Kabul certainly points to there being no traditional detonation. There's no apparent blast damage. All of this points to the RX-9 being used. And it highlights another of its strong points, the ability to minimise collateral damage. RX-9 Hellfire missile really shows a change in warfare over the course of the last 20 years uh, as the follow on to the strike uh, in New York City in the Pentagon 9-11, where 20 years ago, we really didn't have these capabilities uh, or they were embryonic. Um, the CIA was working on them as was the US military and other countries were developing drones and thinking through uh, concepts of operations. But what we now see is an effort to really limit collateral damage of civilians and use uh, essentially kinetic force uh, as opposed to explosive force to uh, eliminate a um, fighter on the battlefield. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.